Ash, you're a landlord, local businessman in Torbay. Mm -hmm. um, so e explain what it is that you're doing and why. For a long time now, within Torbay, there's been a very big problem with people begging on the streets. Over three years, I've seen it increase. And at first, with, obviously I've had pubs, I've had restaurants, and I've seen them outside and I've had a chat and give them something to drink. It became apparent that some of them weren't real beggars. They were leaving and going home straight after, which was annoying, because what happened was they descended on the town and there was loads of them. And some of them were genuine and some of them weren't. The problem is that the fake ones, and it's fake homeless, by the way, not fake beggars, the fake ones are ruining it for the, gen um, for the genuine ones because they're actually being pushed out of town. They're being bullied. It's almost like, it's almost like a turf war where the genuine ones are stuck there and then they're slowly being pushed out. So yeah. how can you differ differentiate between what is a genuine homeless person, somebody who genuinely needs help, and someone who doesn't? Who, well, makes, who makes that decision? Well, the first thing we did, and there's one thing that the fake beggars don't like, and that's being photographed. So I went and photographed every single one of them. And I made it, I made it clear I was photographing them as well, because I put signs up near where they were saying, if you're begging here, you're going to be photographed and you're going to be cross-referenced. But I haven't done this half cocked. I've been working on this for a year and a half. Mm. I've actually spent the last month going around the council, my local politician, the police, and telling them exactly what he was. And the reason being is, unless you've actually been self-employed, unless you've actually had a small business or a small business owner, you end up working often twice as hard for half the money. I know what it's like to be a small businessman. At the end of the week, I've paid my bills, I've paid my rent, I've paid the wages, and I'm left with £5.75 at the end of I'm the week. I'm sorry, you, know, you might know what it's like to be a small businessman, but you clearly have no idea what it's like to be on the streets. And I think to say that you're doing this to, you know, stop the uh, real homeless people from suffering is completely disingenuous. You know, I'm out on the streets where I live, you know, every week, and I, every week I see someone night. who's been... I was out last night and you see people who've been beaten up by the public, you know, uh, you know, breeze blocks thrown in their tents, urinated on, spat on, you know, it's not like... There's already a great culture that everyone thinks, you know, yeah. people begging you trust with you. Everyone already mistrusts them, everyone already hates them, everyone already despises them and thinks that they're frauds. And, you know, and this idea of... A, f a fake, you said a fake homeless, you know, I think there's no law that you should have to be homeless to beg and whether you're an addict to whether or not, whether you're going to sleep in a doorway or a tent or on a friend's sofa, if you're desperate enough to be out there in that weather on the street begging people for money. You can see it in people's faces. Are, no you, are you lacking them. compassion? I mean, no. it does... It's actually illegal to, be to very beg. Very... I've been homeless. Right. I know what it's like. I've slept in my car for three days. Okay. I was too proud to go in and ask so for So somebody came and took a photo of you whilst you were asking Well, for I wasn't help. begging in the street. I'm going to tell you something now that I've not said in any interview on any uh, TV, radio or newspaper in the last two days. We put a fake beggar on the town in the streets undercover for two weeks to mix with these people. And? He mixed with them. He learnt about them. Let me tell you something. There are uh, professional beggars because they go home at night. Our guy got taken home one night out of sympathy to a flat just round the corner from Torquay High Street and they cooked him spaghetti bolognese. But is that, is that just a friendly that? member? That's a lovely Isn't person a nice who thinks... Thing. Someone who was begging next to him that took him. He said, come on, mate, we're going, I'm going home. Oh, it was, it was, it was a, a, it was it was a fake homer. So how, what, well, how I mean, do you, you say, how do you I mean, you're saying that? that you're saying this as though, you know, getting a bit of spaghetti bolognese suddenly means that... You know your life sorted, and it's totally no. I think fantastic. what he's saying, yeah. and I and I and I and I get the point, and, and that's obviously why we'd love, we want to we want to hear from, from your point of view. But but if you have got someone on the street who appears to be homeless, and you're you know sort of giving them money for a cup of tea and a cup of coffee, yet they have the facilities to go home and make a spaghetti bolognese for somebody else, then then what what are the reasons that they would be on the street taking money in the first place? I think you know we need to talk about why would it be that if someone you know, does is fortunate enough in that moment to have a place that they would go back to and sleep. Why they would still feel? Why is our society so hostile and so caring? Acknowledge... The best way people can get money mm. is by you know, and it's sad that people maybe you know, it's a small minority. Let's be very clear. You know, you very seldom meet people who do have a home to go to. It does happen. Well, I mean, his, his figures. He yeah. says that he took 17 photos. Only two of the homeless people that the mm. 17 photos were taken of uh, well, proved to be well, genuinely let's... homeless. But I, I want to just want to continue continue this point. Do you acknowledge that there that, that there there are professional gangs, that it's a, it's, it, it can, in some cities and towns, be part of a business, that you send people out and they, they, they do their, you know, sort of Oliver stuff, get the money in the end and then give it back to Fagan. 
Uh, I mean, you know, there is a, a very small minority mm. of, you know, organised begging. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. What I'm saying is, I suppose, that, you know, you can be one of two kinds of people. You can be the person who says, gets home and says, well, you know, maybe I didn't give any money to that gang. Meanwhile, I walked past ten people who desperately yeah. needed it. Or you can be the person who says, OK, you know, maybe I gave to one person who wasn't being quite honest, who felt they had to be dishonest to get money. But at least I helped all those other people who really did. And I think it's sad that people have, you know, no one likes to lie, no one likes to be dishonest. And even if someone is misrepresenting themselves, it's sad that they feel. But isn't it better to filter to out? Wouldn't it? Isn't it better to mm. filter out the, the people that genuinely need your help rather than those who are being sent out? And let's face it, you know, they're sent out. Their their lives are dire circumstances. Mm. They've, been, they've, they've managed to get embroiled in in in, in those in those uh, professional units. They've got Fagan back there taking all their money. They, they themselves are in, in dire. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, again, I want to be clear that this really is in no. You know, this is a very small. Yeah. percentage of people on the streets but even so if you're someone in a coercive situation maybe a woman for example i don't know do you really think the way to help that person is by threatening them taking their photo refusing to give the money well, driving let, me them on let, somewhere let me tell you how i got into this um i know through the people who the professional beggars in torquay they've done work for me in the past and i was walking through the town center <laughs> he was dressed head to toe in combats and i just looked at him. i said surely the idea mate is they're meant to see you he went no ashman no if they think you're ex-forces you get more money